Eight more people have succumbed to cholera in Kayole, Nairobi County, raising the death toll from the waterborne disease to 10 in the last two weeks. Separately, Isiolo County government has confirmed two more cases of cholera in the region, prompting the regional government to booking in Isiolo town and its environs. <laughs> Sensitization efforts have begun in earnest in various parts of the country to curb the spread of cholera outbreak. In Nairobi, Soweto, Kayole area, local administration and officials from county government of Nairobi have urged locals to exercise caution while handling food and water for home use in ending the spread of the waterborne disease. <laughs> According to health officials in Kayole, at least 60 people have been treated from the disease in the last few weeks and another 10 people have succumbed to the disease. While in a meeting with landlords in Kayole, the area leaders committed to ensure improved hygiene in the locality. Residents in Kayole want trenches unblocked to avert possible mix of tap water with sewer dirt. Mimi kila kitu ningeomba tu serikali irudishe kazi kwa vijana maana kazi kwa vijana imekuwa ikituondolea uchafu imekuwa ikituondolea uchafu kwa mashimo huko nje kwa mitaro sasa hii mitaro zimejaa kuna wengine wamefunga wame, wame sewer si, 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 lines kwa kupitia kwa ile ujenzi wamefanya kwa hivyo pia kama serikali itapitia hapo na ikuambie urekebishe tafadhali na kuomba wewe kama landlord ufanye nini uweze kushirikiana na serikali tuweze kurekebisha hapa ndio kila kitu fanya nini iweze kwenda sawa sawa in isiolo the county department of health services has banned the hawking of food in isiolo town and its environs indefinitely following the confirmation of two cases of cholera disease in the area the county deputy governor james lawasa who also doubles up as the county executive committee member in charge of health services says the ban aim at protecting locals from being sold food below the required health standards. Sasa wakati wa mvua ni rais ana kupata magonjwa. Na pia tumefunga vibanda ambavyo vimeuzwa chakula hapo kwa streets. Hiyo ni wale wanauza mutura, wanauza eh, samosa, mayai kwa sasa hiyo yote tumefunga kwa sababu ni hatari kwa watu wetu ambao wako ndani ya town. Irene Mchuma Udim, The Lunchtime News.